Hey, hey, Aspen my peeps. Happy Tuesday to you. Hopefully you're having a wonderful day. Hopefully your Monday went well. Ours was extremely busy here at Aspen Mountain Plumbing, and we love it that way. That's the way we want it. That's the way we keep it. We've had a lot of people calling to get uh, que uh, questions on doing finishing their basement bathrooms this week. It's just been nuts. Um, and we actually had a customer uh, call us last week and want us to reset a toilet this week and that's what brought on the conversation we're going to have our wax free seals for toilets really better we're going to go into that here shortly if you're watching this on facebook and you're watching this live type in live if you're watching this on replay type in replay if you're watching this from somewhere else other than wyoming rock springs area comment where you're watching this from it's really cool to see where everything's at i've, I've had them from the united kingdom all the way down to australia so it's been kind of cool to see who's actually seeing us online and who's reaching out to us and letting us know if you're watching this on youtube subscribe to our channel get the hit, click on the little notification bell it'll get you notifications every time we come live um, these are downloading yesterday's was a little bit later but they're usually downloading within a couple hours um, and yesterday's didn't download till today because I forgot to do it. <laughs> so it was my fault on that one. But hey, you know, we uh, we had a call yesterday. Gentleman wanted to install his own toilet, uh, hurt his back, wasn't able to do it, called us to, to come in and take care of it for him. Well, we come in and he's got everything ready to go for us, right? Except for one thing. He's got a wax-free seal. Now, are these really better? These are you know, advertised as you don't have to use wax. You don't worry about your, your seal going bad. la di da da These will last forever. You can reuse them, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to tell you right now, as a professional, I do not recommend the wax-free seals. I'm finding too many times that these are going bad. Now, what is a wax ring seal? I'm going to go ahead and flip you around. i got some pictures of some different ones on the computer here I want to show you. Let's go ahead and show you. But they look like this, okay? And basically, these are made of foam. As you can see, they're, they're you know, you can purchase them say it's hardware, Home Depot, um, supply houses sometimes have them. Granger sells this one called the Franco Wax Free, which that one actually is a rubber piece that actually has like a seal that sticks to the bottom of the toilet. And then as you can see on the bottom there, it's got these like little O-rings that seal inside your, your pipe. But are these really better than actual wax rings and i'm gonna to have to say as a professional no um we continue to use wax rings and the reason is is they're they're a much better quality product the wax rings are sometimes i i'm all about changing and, and updating and doing new things but i've seen too many of these things fail and flood really nice wood floors or really nice floors or really nice basements because they didn't work and the problem is is when you expose rubber to water and air over a period of time you're going to get crack and breakdown okay and that's what's happening is with these with these foam seals is they're cracking and eventually they're leaking through on the cracked one so a person will pull it up put the new one down now the first toilet they might have been okay but they pull up that toilet to replace it with a new toilet or something and they put it back down and now you just expose that to air. What they don't realize is that these are, are squishing in between those toilets. Well, when foam stays in a squished position for a period of time, what happens? Well, it starts to break down and it starts to, to stay in that form. Um, you see it all the time where your couch is like are on, on carpet. You move your couch and you see the leg posts are stuck in the floor. Hey, Nick, thanks for watching. Frankie, thanks for watching. They're stuck in the floor. That's the same thing with this. It's the same type of system. That foam sits for a period of time. You pull that toilet up. It stays in that formation. It doesn't foam back out. So you're no better than doing wax rings. The nice thing about a wax ring is you can squish it down. It can it can do on its thing. Um, and it squishes and it seals. When you pull that up, you clean it off. You put a brand new one down anyways. You're ready to rock and roll. The cost difference isn't that much. And the savings isn't that much. Don't use these things. I see too many of them fail. I see too many floods. We, that's why wax urinals fail all the time. Correct. You know, you see the no wax on them, and you can get urinal wax rings. Um, just so you know, Nick, I, I don't. I'm sure you're aware of that, but that, he's exactly right. Urinals have the same problem. They'll put these uh, these foam rings on there, and they'll fail. So, folks, don't do it. Make sure that you're calling us to to get you know what's best. The best thing is to have a professional do it. He knows what's working, what's not working, and he's going to do what he's going to be able to stand behind, and that's wax ring. Have a great day. We'll catch you tomorrow.